Russia, Iran, and North Korea, receiving a strong message from the U.S. Congress. These three regimes in different parts of the world are threatening vital U.S. interests and they are destabilizing their neighbors. And while the bill would impose tough economic and diplomatic penalties, it also sends a message to President Trump. New congressional oversight powers a needed check, said the top it's Democrat on House Foreign Affairs. If uh, President Trump wants to uh, you know, play golf or uh, do something with his crony, Mr. Putin, he can count the Congress out because we're going to punish Mr. Putin. Amid congressional investigations into alleged links between the Trump campaign and Russia, an unusually bipartisan move by lawmakers to limit executive powers to lift sanctions. This is a significant restraint on President Trump because no president wants to lose the leverage of being able to take off sanctions. A restraint the White House initially lobbied against before coming out in support of the sanctions earlier this week. The administration is supportive of being tough on Russia, particularly uh, in putting these sanctions in place. The cost of congressional oversight, the possible loss of U.S. diplomatic flexibility, says a former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. The sanctions, once they're embedded in law, may actually prove less successful in eliciting a change in Russian behavior than when they're based on executive orders. A loss that sets up a tough choice for President Trump. A veto would come at a price. First of all, it would be seen as one more piece suggesting that, in fact, something improper was worked out between the Trump campaign and the Russians back during the election in 2016. And, and second, uh, there's a strong likelihood that that veto would be overridden. And with just days to go until August Mr. recess, President. lawmakers are racing to finish that legislation to secure Mr. the president's signature. Catherine Gibson, VOA News, Capitol Hill.